Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen and today we are diving into fascinating uh, this code challenge, domino and tromino tiling. So now if you're thinking what's tromino, so stick around and I will explain everything. So this is a medium level problem on this code that's been asked in interviews and test the core concept of dynamic programming. So let's get into it. So the problem asks us to find the number of ways to tile a two uh, times and board using two types of tiles, uh, domino and uh, also uh, tromino. Uh, so it's like uh, Tetris uh, L shape with uh, yeah three points. So, and the trick part here is that uh, Tetris shape or tromino uh, can be rotated. And uh, let's visualize. Uh, so we have. Uh, 2 times n, and if n is uh, 3, so there is uh, one possibility, uh, second, third, fourth, or fifth. So output should be 5. So uh, now the naive approach could be to try uh, all possibilities and count them, but that would be terribly inefficient. And uh, this is kind of a classical problem and we can apply dynamic programming. And dynamic programming is all about breaking the smaller, uh, yeah, breaking the bigger problems into a smaller, uh, more manageable uh, sub problems. And we use a DPRI where DPI, so DPI uh, will store uh, the ways to tile a board of two times uh, I, so up to index uh, I. Uh, so now uh, let's wait because it's not that simple. So we have to account for uh, Tromino tiles. So we uh, can have four variation of Tromino and two variation of Domino because of uh, rotation. And there are six type of tiles if we consider uh, all uh, rotation. So now uh, let's think about a recurrent relation. So uh, Diving into heart of the problem, what is the recurrent uh, relation? So this part is key for solving our tiling challenge. And uh, in a simple term, it's an equation that gives us a way to express the current problem in terms of smaller instances of same uh, problem. So let's see how we can break this uh, down and remember our types. We have a domino and tromino and due to uh, L shape, it introduces a complexity that we can uh, tackle. So uh, we will have a dynamic variables. Uh, so it will be T for full board, uh, T up uh, when the gap is at top and T down uh, when uh, the gap is at uh, bottom. So now let's uh, derive uh, formulas. So if we have, uh, for example, T up, it can be formed by adding a horizontal domino. Uh, so it will be T down uh, and a tromino uh, two. Yeah, so uh, T down will be N minus one. Uh, and also, uh, yeah, tromino to T N minus two. And uh, same if we have T down, uh, is formed by adding a horizontal uh, domino. So it will be T up N minus one plus uh, tromino uh, to uh, T N minus two. So this is uh, the basic of our uh, relations. Uh, so, all right, let's translate our math into code uh, in Python. Uh, and uh, yeah, because it's quite tricky. And first thing uh, we need to do is initialize. And we will start by defining our mod variables. Uh, why modulo? So, uh, well, in some coding problems, especially when uh, we are dealing with uh, big numbers, uh, we are requested to uh, output number with 10 to the power of nine plus uh, seven. So let's uh, implement it. So modulo will be 10 to the power of nine plus seven and initialize base case. 
So base case will be t, t up, t down, 1, 0, 0, and t previous, t up previous, and t down previous, 1, 0, 0, and values for i minus 2. So t previous 2, t up previous 2, t down previous 2, 1, 0, 0, and populate the dp variable. So for i in range 2 n plus 1, store all values for shifting. So t previous 2, t up previous 2, t down previous 2 equal t previous, t up previous, and t down previous. And t previous will be and t up, t down, t up, t down, and calculate new values. So after shifting, we calculate. So it will be t, uh, t previous, plus t previous 2, plus t up previous, plus t down modulo, and t up our relation is t down previous plus t previous 2. Also modulo and t down will be t up previous plus t uh, previous 2. So as mentioned uh, with transition. So and finally we return t. So uh, simple uh, implementation. Yeah, let's run it to verify it's working. So hopefully it will. Yep, so all good. So for a uh, two times uh, three board, we have uh, five outputs, so all good. And yeah, so now comes, uh, yep, let's dive one more time. Uh, we use a loop to fill our dp variable. And remember, each value depends on the previous two values. So for every i, we calculate the value based on i minus one and i minus two. And uh, a quick tip, always remember to take the modulo for each uh, computation step, so not just uh, the final answer. So this ensure our uh, intermediate results don't overflow. So now let's uh, submit it for unsynthesis cases to verify uh, our logic work correctly. So yeah, it's working. And as you can see, our implementation yeah, beat 83% uh, with respect to runtime and also 85 with respect to memory. So it's quite uh, efficient. So uh, yeah, this is uh, all for uh, this uh, video. And if you're comfortable with other programming languages uh, other than Python, like uh, Go, Rust, C++, and much more, I will provide link in the description uh, below. And that's how you solve a domino and termino tiling problem using dynamic programming. So it's a fantastic problem that really uh, gets you thinking about edge cases and optimal solution. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more coding uh, insight and leave your question and thoughts in the comment section below. And yeah, I will uh, get back to you. And that's uh, all for uh, today. So most importantly, keep practicing, stay motivated, happy coding, and see you next time.